Facilitate two processes like carboxylation as well as oxygenation. Yeah, it involves in photo respiration where the substrate is REPP, a 5 carbon pentose sugar. Okay, actually it is having 5 carbon. Here it is given first option like one molecule of 3C. So most of the students like you may think like uh, if you don't have command over the photo respiration, you know that is a resp photo respiration C2 cycle. Yeah, the wasteful process. Yeah, 3 carbon compound, only one molecule of 3 carbon compound given as one of the options. But he did it right only 3C. He just wrote that on 3C compound. I come to the second one, on 6C. 6C is not at all possible. 6C compound is not even possible even during the C3 cycle. Yeah, the 5 carbon sugar, pentose sugar, REPP, yeah, REPP reacting with the accepting carbon dioxide to produce 2, 3C that was during the C3 cycle. But here no 6C direct formation. It is only during the Krebs cycle, TCA cycle, that we see uh, in uh, physiology of the second year course. Yeah, here 4C plus 2C, not possible. Two molecules of 3C, not possible. It is possible when Rubisco involves in carboxylation activity. But in Rubisco involves in oxygenation. One molecule of 3C compound, you know that is PCA, phosphoglyceric acid, along with that. Uh, and two molecules of phosphoglycol in this form. So your answer here is uh, first option for question number six. Uh, question number seven. Question number seven. In light reaction, plasmaquinone facilitate the transfer of electrons from. Yeah, you know, plasmaquinone is present between the photosystem two as well as the cytochrome complex. You know, a pumping system is there that involves in non-cyclic electron transport. That is for the cytochrome complex, which present between uh, photosystem 2 as well as the photosystem 1. You all are very clear about the plastoquinone, plastoquinone, plastosemiquinone. Yes, it is present between the photosystem 2 as well as the cytochrome complex. You see, so the ultimate electron donor during the electron, non-cyclic electron transport of the photosynthesis water molecule. Ultimate proton donor, donor is also the water molecule. You know the direction of electron movement, direction of the proton movement. Electron movement is generally done in horizontal way, proton translocation vertical way. So you can say electron transfer and proton translocation both are in a perpendicular way. Yeah, you keep that aside. So the electrons from the photosystem to in, in the textbook, NCRT textbook, particularly you will QA, QB, and then the cytochrome B. Yeah, between that two, you can see plus of the answer will be like uh, is two as the cytochrome complex. Yeah. Question number eight. Ah, okay, question number eight. The gel electrophoresis is separated DNA fragments. See, student, gel electrophoresis is the process to get the DNA fragments of our interest. So we need to visualize them uh, by applying some, uh, uh, by staining them with a specific dye, namely ethidium bromide. Unless it is treated, unless it is exposed to the UV radiation, it can't be visualized. So ethidium bromide and UV radiation exposure will make the DNA get visualized. So that will be the answer. You can't be as in acetocarbon or in ethidium bromide infrared radiation, no, and acetocarbon in bright blue light. Okay, that is not the answer. Next, come to come to the tenth question. Question number ten. Yeah, see students, question number ten. Yes, see students, the plant parts which consist of two generations, one within another. Yeah, very interesting question. Yeah, very easy question and interesting question, yeah, I feel. The pollen grains inside the anther. Let me say students, what is pollen grain? Pollen grain can represent male gametophytes. The pollen grain can represent male gametophytes. You know, the male gametophyte is a haploid. Male gametophyte, haploid structure. Of course, the maximum it can be having three cells. When you think like algae, when you think and when you go back to the algae, like primitive plants, from algae to the angiosperms, when you, uh, once you have a look on evolutionary trends, from very simple plants or from very primitive to the advanced plants, when you have a look on evolutionary trends, so the very primitive plants like algae will have elaborated, multicellular, independent, photosynthetic, green gametophytes. Whereas, when you compare the same gametophytes with the higher plants, like angiosperms and gymnosperms, yeah, the gametophyte is highly reduced. So, highly reduced means up to what extent they are reduced. As far as angiosperms and gymnosperms are considered, you can count the number of cells in the gametophyte like the pollen grain. Interesting, in algae the plant body is gametophyte, but in angiosperms simple pollen grain is the gametophyte, which is having just three cells, is the maximum number of cells which is the gametophyte. 
what you noted here. So the importance of the gametophytes got decreased in the evolutionary sequence from uh, lower to higher. When you compare the sporophytic traits, the sporophyte in algae is just zygote. Immediately it involves in meiosis. So zygotic meiosis can be seen. So because of the zygotic meiosis, what happens? Uh, yeah, immediately haploid phase is restored. So the sporophyte is uh, completely dependent, it may be even parasite. Yeah, simply represented by single cell in lower plants like algae. When you come to the higher plants like angiosperm, gymnosperms, spore of is every plant. You can recall the pepal tree, you can recall the monstera, you can recall the ajadirecta indica, deep tree. So these all are that we see in our day to day, day, day life in our surroundings are sporophytes. So the sporophytes are multicellular. So very simple to understand pollen grain, the gametophyte, which is uh, just a three cell. Uh, and the gametophyte is just half And anther, anther is having deployed pollen mother cells. So the pollen mother cells present in the anther to represent the last cells of the sporophytic generation. So I can say clearly that the anther are the all deployed cells except the microspores within the anther. Uh, like uh, PMC, pollen mother cells. Pollen mother cells especially represent pollen mother cells or microspore mother cells especially represent the, the last cells of the sporophytic generation. So obviously last cells of the sporophytic generation present in the part which is sporophyte. That's what they add. So when this PMC last cells, last deployed cells divide meiotically, so they can be meiocytes. Uh, then what happens is haploid cells produce. That haploid cells immediately produce our meiosis in PMC are called as first cells of gametophytic generation. They are microspores. So the first cell of the gametophytic generation is not pollen grain. Microspores develop into pollen grain. So the pollen grain represents haploid gametophytic generation and the represent deployed sporophytic generation. Pollen grain within the anther. Uh, I hope you got it. So generated pollen grain uh, with two way generated pollen grain. Yeah, it is all about the gametophytic generation. It is all about the gametophyte only. So it, it can't be two different than the same thing. Seed within the inside the fruit. So fruit is also representing new generation. The fruit is having seed. Now when you see the seed, seed is obviously having two generations, but he is not asking that. The fruit must be one generation, seed must be another thing. No, they both are same. So you can't after the way that B R C. When you come to the D, embryo sac is like pollen grain. Ovule is like the anther. Anther is to the andrician, so that the ovule is to the gynecium. So the ovule, which is representing sporophytic generation deployed, which will produce the female gametophyte, the seven cell, eight nucleate embryocyte. So your answer would be A and D. So you can find the third one with, with A and D. Okay, that's all about the, the, the 12th question. 12th is also from. No, the 12th is also from. Yeah, what me? Is it should identify the incorrect statement. Interestingly, most of the questions here, more than 10 questions asked like uh, correct and incorrect. And most of the questions, more than 10 questions, even depending on uh, matching. So, uh, paper set uh, made your work easy. Okay, right. Identify the incorrect one. Except it is involved in the connection of water minerals from the root to the leaf. Obviously, it is only the tissue that can connect water from the root to the leaf. So, you can see sap only in the uh, tall trees or huge trees. Uh, some old trees where the secondary growth already done. Okay, right. Saput is the innermost secondary xylem uh, and it is lighter in color. Okay, find the saput is. Is saput innermost secondary xylem? No, the, the innermost secondary xylem, the oldest secondary xylem, the first formed secondary xylem in a specific tree uh, could be hardwood but not the saput. And moreover, uh, it is like a lighter in color. It is lighter in color but not innermost uh, secondary cell. So it, it is a wrong option. Next you see third one. Due to the deposition of tannins, uh, resins, uh, oils, uh, hardwood is dark in color. Yes, it is about the hardwood and hardwood characters are given there. It is going to be like pillar at the center of the huge stem. So it is useful in that way. And the fourth one is directly given hardwood does not connect water. But gives mechanical support, all the things are given depending on how to these two are correct. First one is also correct. So the second one is your option which is incorrect statement. And yeah, that's all the 12th question. Yeah, next, uh, yeah, 14th, no. You come to the 15th. Yes, he should be in the 17th question. He also from what day? Yeah, the first phase of the translation. You know, the translation is the process where the substrate 
where the template is the mRNA. So the message in the mRNA has to be get decoded by the specific machinery already produced by the DNA. What is the machinery has the RRNA produced by the DNA, DRNA produced by the DNA, mRNA produced by the DNA. Even enzymes can be from the specific genes of the DNA. Okay, right. So it is about the translation, recognition of the DNA molecule. No need of recognition of the DNA molecule during the translation. Why? The DNA work already done. What is the DNA function? The DNA has to produce mRNA. It already produced mRNA and sent the mRNA to the cytoplasm. If it is eukaryote. So the mRNA now present even on the DNA is ready for translation if it is a prokaryote. Uh, and you can also concentrate on the stroma as well as the mitochondria, the matrix of the mitochondria, how the process occurs. So I am not going, I am take, I'm not taking you uh, to the arguments, the process is occurring in arguments. Yeah, it is not at all the function. And next one, amino acidation of the DNA. A very important thing regarding the uh, south states. Already I told you there is an ambiguity, it, it is such a question. Uh, in uh, some keys given by some other organizations, some other colleges, a uh, few colleges opted that. Uh, like uh, binding of mRNA with the ribosome as the answer. But in reality, even according to the Telangana state book, Andhra state book and South state books, in most of the books, what they wrote that, even before the association of the mRNA with the ribosome, particularly smaller subunit of the ribosome, you know, mRNA host joins with the smaller subunit of the ribosome, then the tRNA will come and then larger subunit will be joined. Even before this process which is known as initiation, so there are two prior steps. The first step is activation of mRNA has to be ready to be needed. And then the activated mRNA has to get associated with the DNA with the extra bond. At three prime you know CCN is there at three prime. So it's what amino acylation. So amino acylation must be prior to the binding of mRNA. Yeah, uh, as of my knowledge. Okay, next. The 18th question. In 18th question, Aspreci family is given here, students. Aspreci, old name of the Aspreci family, Composite. The inflorescence in Aspreci is the most advanced racemose inflorescence that Anthodium are head. You can see flora dimorphism in that. So, uh, like uh, reflorates as well as the disclorates. And in Aspreci, the fruits can be like Cipsella. Yeah, the Pappus, the Pappus, like the parachute mechanism. Uh, and one more thing, like it's dry fruit, having single ovule. Yeah, so it is about the ovule that is an uh, inferior ovary. The next is 19 question. The process of the growth is maximum. Yeah, very simple question directly taken from, uh, yeah, it is there in uh, ecology, from geology part of the ecology, and also in growth and development physiology of the body. Lag basis uh, must be your answer. Next is 20th question. Yeah, 20th, the roots that originate from the base of the stem. Very simple question again. Yeah, in the first year, it is a question from the morphology. Yeah, pure from what is that is fibrous roots. And next, 21st question. Question number 21. Another easy question from the pollination. Even before the exam, yeah, while uh, I have given uh, few techniques to you, I told you clearly about to focus on the pollination. Yeah, pollination. Questions in the pollination generally asked. So, say we screw over here. But water hyacinth and water lily. What are the water hyacinth and water lily? You know, water hyacinth in the hypernia. Curse of the water. Curse, sculpture of the water. Yeah, terror of manga. Entered India because of its beautiful leaf. It rains all the oxygen present in the water. It leads to death of an aquatic organism. It will be involving in vegetative repression at phenomenal rate. So, the vegetative mode by means of the oxygen. So, some of the information I am saying in water hyacinth. And you know what is really? Yeah, these are actually hydrophytes. So we can't say that hydrophytes may depend on the water for the pollination. Most of the hydrophytes generally don't depend on the water to bring about the pollination. Yeah, it is such an example. Directly, uh, it is a direct statement given in our textbook. Yeah, insects and wind. So you see, first one, water currents only. No, never. Water currents uh, only can't be facilitated in this process. And then the second one, wind and water. So, you know, uh, the water, whenever you see the water, you, you, you even simply discard that. Yeah, water I see, water will leave. Not at all pollinated by water. So your answer is like uh, insects and wind. Anemophily and demophily. Question number 22. Yeah. So question number 22, which of the following puts into anaerobic starch digester for further severe treatment from the last uh, unit, okay? Yeah, here the severe treatment, F14 is now in the sec in anaerobic starch digester. Anaerobic, 
into the anaerobic sludge digester what we said is like flux so we allow the bacteria and fungi to settle yeah which is technically called as flow this flow has to be sent into the anaerobic sludge digester where indirectly we are allowing the anaerobes to grow that anaerobes will act upon these particular bacteria aerobic fungi aerobic so that there will be a conflict in the metabolism or uh, in their nutrition so we will be getting a benefit when they fight with each other the remaining uh, will be less polluted you know less viewed is yeah it's not going like to activate it sludge okay right 20 yeah 24 question number 24 identify the basic amines of the following you know a clear protonic acid aspartic acid are the acidic amino acids and you know arginine glycine this is for gas gas glycine arginine alanine and cyanide so there are some list of the biomolecules already i told you from the biomolecule there are four questions as you are very lucky even one of the questions from the zoology part is given depending on secondary metabolites uh, from the biomolecules one question is given uh, uh, towards the zoology yeah we are going to be guess there yeah, like uh, lysine arginine so arginine is not given here uh, why i am saying arginine is when you focus on uh, like uh, histone proteins yeah histone proteins are basic components uh, basic component in, in the sense fundamental components in the nucleosomes so in the nucleosome this basic histone proteins yeah are generally forming a core around which the dna is wrapped okay the positively charged negatively charged the relation between the proteins as well as the dna so the dna negativity is because of phosphoric acid and histone protein negative phosphoric is because of two amino acids like lysine as well as the arginine lysine is basic one the yeah, next it is about the yeah question number 26 26th question 26 yeah question number 26 which of the following statements about inclusion bodies in correct yeah, another question from cell biology right uh, these are involved in ingestion of the food particle no ingestion of the food particle is not at all function of the inclusion bodies yeah it, it is in correct the first one is itself in correct so uh, even time will not be eaten up when you are very confident about such options so that most of the students interacted with, with me and told me that so so i i got 40 minutes time uh, i got 30 minutes time yeah to verify my question paper again and again at the end because of such questions because of uh, uh, your concentration on the ncert book because of your yeah how you use the time was well, obviously uh, very good we felt very happy you got actually 3 and 1/2 months time extra because of the covid 19 so most of you used that 3 and 1/2 months time so that you got more time uh, at the end of your exam to make sure with all the answers that uh, you have opted that you have choose the correct answer so we even felt very happy uh, by listening that okay students the second one they like free in the side of the plasma obviously they must be there in the side of the plasma they are lined by the side of the plasma lining rather than having a space these represent the reserve material in the cytoplasm yes they are reserve materials so you can go through that yeah they are not bound by any membrane so they are membrane less the next 27 question number 27 from genetics part very easy question just we expected complex level of the questions uh, tricky questions from the genetics but it was not like the very easy question such an easy question uh, you got in the neat exam by answering this you are going to be given Yeah, just doing it. Yeah, experimental verification of chromosomal DNA is done by yeah, you know Mr. Morgan, H. Yes, Morgan, Thomas and Morgan, Flyman of the genetics. Thomas and Morgan, popularly known as Flyman of the genetics. The owner of the Morgan C. M. Senti Morgan, dear student, the distance between the genes uh, is represented with the C. M. You know map units. Uh, C. M. Senti Morgan, small C and capital M because of that. You know Stuart Evan. And, uh, uh, and the dynamic process, experimental verification of the mental experiments, uh, particularly done by you by using a uh, uh, specific organism like Drosophila. Next, yeah, concentrate on thirty. Question number thirty again from what day? Yeah, which is important side of the formation of the glycoproteins and uh, glycolipids? Very easy question. Another easy question from the cell biology. Yeah, peroxidome is not at all related with that. You know, long chains of the fatty acids are broken down. Yeah, long chains of the fatty acids are broken down. 
without God. So you are easy to get the first option first. Yeah, next uh, 36. Yes. Question number 36. The number of the substrate level phosphorylations in one ton of citric acid cycle. So TCA cycle, FAP cycle, yeah, it is from the physiology. Yeah, there are few questions uh, uh, even from uh, physiology like what is the as well as the respiration. Uh, of course, uh, uh, as we expected, easy questions given from the physiology. Uh, right, number of substrate level phosphorylations. Only one will be there for one ton. For one glucose, two acetyl coin and two tons of the FAP cycle. So that you will get 2 ATP where it is only 1 ton. So 1 substrate level phosphorylation leading to formation of 1 GTP. Simultaneous synthesis of 1 ATP from that. Saxinyl coin MA. All you know clearly about saxinyl coin MA. 4 carbon compound. The first 4 carbon compound during the citric acid cycle. Before that we have seen alpha ketoglutric acid. Yeah, from that uh, saxinyl coin MA. Saxinyl coin MA and now forms saxinic acid. Yeah, uh, 4 carbon compound remaining all going to the 4 carbon compound during which you can see this process. Let us have the 36. Answer is going to the one. Yes, sir. Yeah, that 41. Question number 41. Which of the following phase is a unicellular algae? Yeah, unicellular algae. You see geranium, glasseraria, parphyra. Yeah, all those are the analogous numbers. So very uh, yeah, they are complex, advanced, and they are multicellular. Okay, they are multicellular. Anemia valvax, you know, valvax is called an form, so it can't be the answer, even anemia. Uh, uh, so, yeah, he is asking about unicellular, don't forget it. And chlorella spirulina, yeah, you got it here, laminaria sarcasm, we have seen number, don't argue about that also. Yeah, you know even about the laminaria, you know even about the caps from, representing from uh, uh, like uh, Yeah, Chlorella spirulina, you know chlorella, green algae, unicellular, chlorophyce, grass green algae, chlorophyllian, chlorophyll B present. So, so many features you know well about the chlorophyce. And when you put the spirulina, in fact spirulina is not like green algae, so blue green algae. You know space travelers, astronauts, they can be used as a CP. Yeah, food for space travelers. Yeah, your answer will be third for question number 41. Yeah, you see the 43. Yeah, another simple question from the genetics. Have you expected such questions from the genetics? Yeah. yeah. It's not one of the luck factor to you. Yeah, it is how many true breeding. If anybody of you says that, sir, we didn't answer this. We didn't answer this rightly. Yeah, I will come to you. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah, I think uh, all the students all over the India after the second option for this true breeding P varieties, true breeding P lines, true breeding lines like the way we should make that. Yeah, the 14 is the answer. Next, we come to the 44. Question number 44. Again, from, yeah, from diverse.